Another question 11c, we've got the ln of the cos of x all squared. So let's let u equal cos x. That then gives us y equals the ln of u squared. And before we play about with that, let's just remember, of course, that that's the same as 2 ln u. So now we can differentiate. Cos goes to a minus sign. Ln u goes to 1 over u. So we've got 2 over u. And we multiply these two things together to get what dy by dx is. So we've got a minus, we've got a 2, we've got a sine x on the top, we've got a u on the bottom, and u was cos x. Hey look, sine x over cos x. Let's just make that a tan x, shall we? So minus 2 tan x. Uh, for part d, do we need me to do part d? I don't think so. Um, it's just u equals the bit on the bottom, u equals 3 plus the cos of 2x, and y equals u to the power of minus 1. So differentiating that, the 3 disappears, the cos goes to a minus sign, times in by that 2 as well. This one, minus u to the power of minus 2. And times it together, the two minuses are going to cancel out. I've got 2 sine 2x on the top. And it's like I'm u to the power of minus 2, so I'm going straight to just putting that on the bottom squared. 